because early on we started seeing the trends of disproportionate mortality in people of color, especially African American Hispanics. And I would also add it's people of color, yes, but also poor people uh, have a higher risk. Why? Their health is usually not as good. They have less access to health care. And that ties into educational level, work level, whole host of issues that we call the social determinants of health. And when I was a Surgeon General and we wrote the first uh, report on this national response framework, uh, we asked the question, who are the vulnerable populations? And one that really stood out were the Native Americans, because if you go on many of the reservations, it's like a third world country. So even though they are not Hispanic or black, they are people of color, but they are the re real uh, original Americans. And because of the austere environments they live in, the lack of education, and on any given day, higher disease rates, uh, maternal child mortality, low vaccination rates, so on and so forth, obesity, diabetes, they are at a higher risk. So a person who is unhealthy and gets COVID-19 has a higher risk of succumbing or being very, very ill because their immune system isn't working well and they are overwhelmed more easily because of those social determinants of health being in the wrong place. And that's an issue our nation has been struggling with for quite some time. This has been written about for years. There are a number of reports at all levels and it's something that we need to deal with. We're doing it incrementally, but clearly during a disaster like this, these are the populations that suffer disproportionately, and that should be intolerable in our nation. 